No, oh, it's an awesome Tiber Drive thing. Right? It's not over yet. It's not over. Trying to, you know, this is the last of our two days. You know, everything. You know, last team pictures yesterday. You start. You know, people start checking things off. Yeah, because once you get a game, like the thing just flies. It just prepared game, prepared game. Yeah, so we just want to slow it down a little bit, and try and enjoy those moments, these moments, and, and uh, have a great time with these guys. Your last go around, kind of like seniors, you know, you, you're going to try and reach a little deeper to put a little bit more here and there to, to really walk away knowing, hey, no regrets, you know, you did what you, what you needed to be doing. I think the legacy that he probably is leaving behind is, um, you know, just their creed. You know that they've tried to teach these kids and so i don't know if it's the legacy of winning and x's and o's as much as it is as just trying to teach these kids you know just how to be good young men he immediately called the t-bird winning football that was his slogan and they weren't winning i mean that was his first year he called the t-bird winning football and they didn't win the first couple of years. And there were people who were starting to grouse saying, what's this winning football all about? So I would tell people, just be patient. And I told one person that I would rather have a son of mine play football for Sid Otten if they lost 50 games in a row than have him play for almost anybody else. Once the kids were able to start seeing that what he was preaching what he was teaching works then it just snowballed from there the other thing that's really important is his assistant coach mm -hmm. he has had alexander almost the entire time mm -hmm. he's had steve shown almost the entire time mcgrath has been with him for a long time yep. and if you look over the years these guys have been with him and they all know what they're supposed to do Sid's able to delegate. He doesn't have this big ego. They work together, and he's had the ability of delegating to these assistants, and they stay with him, and they're loyal to him. And all of that stuff works together. It's all a package, and uh, it's just remarkable. It's, it's a remarkable story, but I think the thing that I like about it most is the wins are great, but it's how you do things that matters. And Sid Otten has set the standards so high that he has improved. He has improved the quality of coaching and the quality of athletic programs in the state of Washington hugely. He is the gold standard. I distinctly remember being on the sideline with him and having this kind of giant, calm confidence with a smile, but yet an intensity that let that made everyone feel like it's going to be okay. It was never a sense of panic. There was always he always had he always let you know he he had confidence in you, um, regardless of the situation. And just having that sense of he believes in me and he has a plan and here's how we're going about it. And then sometimes it didn't really work out, but he was always that guy to to come back to and help you reflect, help you learn, help you grow from it. I mean, he's the real deal. He's not phony. He's not pretentious. He's, he's sit on. He's just like, and he's got a good look at his family. I mean, they all get together all the time for all the holidays. It's, it's, a, it's just a very inspirational family. The, the relationship between him and Marjean is to be old. And it's a love affair. And it's just sit with his kids Sid with other people's kids. Uh, he's just a, he's a great person. For us, Tomorrow football was just kind of like, uh, it was part of our life, you know. It was part of living so close to the school and just we are such a part of uh, everything from such a young age that it was just, it, it didn't seem like I was part of a program. It just seemed like a, a part of our life and a part of our family. So, um, yeah, it was just, uh, I guess play, playing for him in those last few years is just kind of a culmination of, you know, a lifetime spent uh, over at the high school as part, as part of our family. The winning part of it was being a part of, of his staff or being a part of his team. You knew you were going to win because what he 
he treated you and the way he expected you to have success and the way he established his goal system. And their goal system is what's really tremendous, uh, uh, how they set goals and, and how they uh, adjust those at halftime of a ball game or a halftime of a season. Um, that's uh, that's a tra- that's a, an item that every every player can use for the rest of their lives. And so, winning and losing is important, maybe, but winning a life is what's really important, and that's what he prepares kids for.